High Earth Energies, Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and also those cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see what is it that they think about when they think of you, okay? So what comes to mind when they hear the mention of your name? You know, what are the quality of their thoughts here when they think of you? This is going to be a general reading, guys, so please just be mindful of that. If you are interested in the personal tarot reading of myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. So once again, this reading here is intended for Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross-watching. Oh wow, you have the Empress, I mean not the Empress, the Temperance. And the lovers. The temperance sort of came out in reverse, didn't it? Two of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords here, and the Four of Swords. Okay, straight away there's something to do with the notion of timing. There's this impatient kind of energy, there's an imbalance in the energies here and in the overall connection here. There's also something to do with timing. Either this person is waiting, they're waiting for the right time to reach out and connect, they're waiting for the right time to make a move, they're waiting for the right time to have that conversation with you. There's something here that they're waiting on, okay? Um, and there's something here that I feel like that they're really eager and impatient to communicate to you as well, and that's really interesting. Now, there's a bit of an imbalance here in the top row. There's a bit of a lover's triangle with the lovers. You know, there's that imbalance of the two pentacles here, the temperance as well in reverse, um, strong indicator of maybe the two of you not being on the same wavelength, maybe the two of you not seeing, you know, eye to eye. There is a very strong romantic energy here, okay, as indicated by the lover's card. So I feel like this person is maybe someone who's very much they either have some very strong romantic feelings for you, they may be in love with you, they may be in the act of falling in love with you, okay? There may be that there. There's also, I feel like there's a very strong, if it's not love, then definitely feels like maybe lust or infatuation. This person is really into you. Um, a very strong sense of attraction, like a very magnetic attraction. They're very physically drawn to you. But there's something else. It just feels like this person wants to be near you. They want to be around you. There's definitely that sense of magnetic attraction that they also have a hard time explaining here. Okay, I, def I definitely feel like this person is though very physically attracted to you know you, your style, um, how you look, how you you know look after yourself, your presentation. I feel like they're very into you. However, I also feel like there may be someone else in the picture. There may be, this person may be juggling between two very different romantic partners. And this person may be straddling the fence about having to make a choice. I say that with the lover's card because it is about making choices. The two of pentacles here, there's that imbalance, you know, that needing, that needing to make a decision. Then there's the three of swords that point down to the figure's head here. So I just feel like your person feels a bit torn or a little bit confused, which is why there may be that imbalance of your energies. Someone here feels a little bit more con like more invested in the connection and they know it. So it could be you though, yeah. Maybe you're the one that feels as though you're more invested here emotionally, mentally, physically. And as a result, your partner is not as invested, hence the imbalance. So to make up for their lack of efforts or to make up for their, you know, um, lack of investment here, you may be tending to overcommit and over your uh, overextend yourself overcome like over apply yourself to you know compensate for their lack of commitment here and they know and they know that or for their lack of efforts they can recognize that they see that you're really into them they see that you know you're very attracted to them they see that that they have a very strong hold of you they get that um but they're sort of in this situation where they may already be in a relationship, in a marriage, in a union with someone else, and they're just sort of having this hard time, okay? And there's just this inability to make a choice because to them it feels like there's pros and cons to either decision. So I feel like when it comes to this connection here, although their feelings for you are very strong here, I don't know if they're maybe as strong as 
their like their feelings may not be as strong as yours or is it the other way around here is it your feelings not as strong as them theirs because someone does feel like they're more invested and as a result to me it feels like they're overcompensating for their partner's here lack of um, efforts now this person the seven of pentacles there there's this slow burning energy here now because you've come up with the seven of pentacles as a seven of pentacles maybe you're the one that's waiting maybe you're the one that's waiting for this person to make that decision or to make that move you know to finally ask you out to connect with you to communicate whatever it is i feel like you're the one that's a little bit frustrated by either the timing of something the pace or the lack of efforts or the the action here okay there's definitely a strong sense of frustration with your energies and you're the one that's waiting for the right time here but the message that i get is I don't know if, I mean, so much of life is timing, but I also feel like with time, is it ever really the right time? I feel like you'll make the time right for you kind of thing. So for those of you that do find yourself waiting for something, why not try and, you know, weave the time so that it works in your favor, you know, make it work for you kind of thing. Um, if this is how, if this is your person's energy though, then I feel like there's something here that they're frustrated with. Maybe it's their inability to make a decision. Maybe they just feel like they want more time with you or they want more time to make this decision. There's this strong sense of waiting here. However, this waiting feels like it's definitely dragging something. It's dragging on or is dragging something down here. Okay. They may feel as though they... They're waiting for you. They're waiting for you to come around. Or they'll always wait for you here. Now with the Knight of Swords here, they feel as though the two of you do clash. Though There's a clash of the egos. And they feel as though sometimes the two of you, you don't always see eye to eye. And hence the imbalance of the energies. Like, to me, it feels like you aren't on the same page length or on the same frequency. They feel as though the two of you sort of argue a lot or you don't see eye to eye or there's a lot of misunderstandings and confusions you guys have very different communication styles hence that knight of swords energy okay instead of trying to sort of talk it out you both just end up talking at each other here and they get that okay there's also something else that this person wants to they want to urgently communicate something to you be careful though because with the knight of swords energy i feel like the message that they want to communicate may be delivered in a painful tone or it may lead to some sort of disagreement or an argument of some sort because of this hastiness and because of i mean look at the knight he's charging he in mid-air okay it's almost like it's urgent because of the energy field that he's entering this energy space it's already you know giving us a little bit of uncomfortable vibe right so there is something that they're going to want to communicate to you but do not feed into it do not fall into the trap of having to think that, you know, you have to raise your voice to improve your argument or you need to yell at each other or you need to respond to whatever it is that they have to say here. Okay, just be careful because I feel like there's something here that they're going to bring to the table. It feels like a conversation of some sort, but it feels like it might get a little bit loud or uncomfortable. And it really doesn't have to. It doesn't have to here. There's a bit of pain as well with the swords here. I don't know if this person is really, I don't know if it's you that feels a little bit of pain or I don't know if this person feels a little bit like torn and conflicted here over what it is that they should do next or what steps that they should take next. But I definitely feel like there's something here that weighs someone down here. It's just this energy that feels emotionally drained and emotionally exhausted and all relationships are work. But if you're leaving feeling like this you might want to reconsider some things here guys all right and these are your messages thanks as always for watching and listening please show your support by subscribing to the channel liking sharing um, please feel free also to check out the rest of my tarot love messages on the channel thanks again for your support for those of you interested in a personal reading feel free to connect bye for now